Welcome to the VMUX Downloader Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over installing the VMUX Downloader software, loading a binary file onto a node, and troubleshooting common problems. Let's go through installing the VMUX Downloader software. Open your web browser and go to www.akronbrass.com. That's A K R O N B R A S S dot C O M. Once the page loads, move your mouse over vehicle electronics. There's going to be a drop down. The left hand column is VMUX. At the bottom of that column, you're going to find firmware and diagnostic software. Move your mouse over that and click it. Once you're on the VMUX software updates and downloads page, scroll down until you find PC software. The program we're looking for is VMUX Downloader. Click on the install file and select run. This may take a few minutes based on the speed of your connection. Once it finishes downloading, the installer will launch. Follow the instructions in the installer until you're finished. Once it's finished, the VMUX downloader is now installed. There's a new category in program files called VMUX software. Within that category, you're going to find VMUX downloader. If you launch it, you're going to get this error message. One or more Node OS files were not found. Please refer to the Node OS version dialog before attempting to update any Node OS. What this means is we need to download the OS files and put them onto our computer. Click OK to make the dialog box go away. If this is your first time installing VMUX downloader, you won't have any of the OS files. If you've recently updated VMUX Downloader, we can look and see what files you're still missing. Go to Settings, Node OS Versions, and this new dialog box will pop up. In here we can see this is a brand new installation, so I have no OS files for any of the nodes. If I had any of the OS files, next to the node would tell me a version number. To get the OS files, we need to go back to the website and scroll to the top of the page where we see the header Node Operating System Files. Look just below that for a file called All OS Files. Click it and select Open. The zip file contains all the current VMUX operating system files. I now need to move these files onto my hard drive where VMUX Downloader is looking. If you look at the README file, it'll give you the default location of where the file should go, as well as tell you what version each of the files in the directory are. If you already had some OS files installed, we could check their version number against this list, and if your version is less than what's on the list, you would know you need to update that file. To get to the directory we need to put these into, I'm going to open up my computer. On this computer, the OS files are in the default location. C colon backslash users backslash my name backslash documents backslash v dash mux. If you had any OS files already installed, you'll find them in here. To copy the files across, click back on the folder that has all the OS files. Left click and draw a box around all the files you want to move. Drag them and drop them into the new folder. You may get a warning dialog. Go ahead and click OK. Once all the files have been moved, your directory should look like this. To make sure we've done everything correctly, go ahead and launch VMUX Downloader again. Go to Settings, Node OS Versions, and now you should have a list of all the OS files and their versions. If you line up that list with your text document, you should see that all the versions match. This means you have successfully installed all the OS files. Now that all the OS files are successfully installed, we can close out the website and all the other folders, and we are now ready to download. How to load a binary file onto a node. When you're ready to download to a node, launch VMUX Downloader. Once the program's up, click the File button and locate the binary file you need to load. Binary files will usually have a truck or department name followed by a node number. For this example, I'm going to load node number 1. Select Target Node Number will automatically target the node number that matches the file name. Press the Download button. Once you press Download, you'll see the dialog box below the Download button in that white area 
begin to scroll with the new information. This information helps you understand what the downloader program is doing and what its current status is. Once this happens, it'll start downloading information to that node. When you load a binary onto a node, the status light will actually rapidly flash during that process to show that it's taking in the new information. Once the download is complete, cycle power to the node and you should have a steady flash pattern that shows that it's operating and loaded. Now that you've cycled the power, if you need to load another node, you can now do that. The downloader program can only load one node at a time. If you need to load multiple nodes, pick whichever node number you want to start with first. The order doesn't matter. We can now download to our second node. To download to a second node, simply go back to the File button and select the next binary file. For this example, I'm going to load binary file number 2. The network is on, operating, and ready for us to download again. Now we press the download button and it's going to go through the same process we saw before, making sure that it has network communication, locating node number 2, telling the rest of the nodes to go quiet, and then sending information directly to node 2. Now that the node is loaded, we need to cycle power so that it starts up in its new design. Once the power is cycled, all the nodes will boot up and they'll all be operating with their current design files. Remember that recycling power also brings other nodes that have been told to go quiet back into operating status. The nodes will not come back after a download until you cycle power.